I am healthy, except that I have stage four lung cancer. 58-year-old Karen Loss has been writing and blogging about her battle with lung cancer since she was diagnosed five years ago. The number one question for me and for everyone with lung cancer is, do you smoke or did you smoke? or how much did you smoke, or why did you smoke, anything about smoking. <laughs> and have you ever smoked? No, never. I'm a, I'm a lifelong non-smoker. She is one of the 30% of women diagnosed with lung cancer who never smoked. If you don't get a diagnosis of lung cancer yourself, someone you know will. It's that prevalent. Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer for both men and women in the United States. It kills more people than colon, breast, and prostate cancer combined. But the stigma persists. So many people, even to this day, think, you brought it on yourself, I don't feel sorry for you, therefore, you know what, I'm a non-smoker, so I don't have to worry about it. And you smoked, so I don't care. The stigma affects fundraising, and fundraising affects research dollars. Take a look at the research dollars per patient death. That's how they measure it. For breast cancer, it's $24,000. For prostate cancer, $14,000. Colon cancer, $7,000. And for lung cancer, a paltry $2,300. That disparity is more than frustrating to Karen Loss. Doggone it. You know, it's about time the American public knows that lung cancer kills more than any other cancer out there. 433 people a day, every day, die of lung cancer. That's like a jumbo jet crash every single day killing everyone aboard. Do you think that would get coverage? I do. Karen plans to share that message when she speaks at the Life and Breath Rally for Lung Cancer on the National Mall tomorrow. In McLean, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.